this very wreck. Bruce Chetwin photographed more than four decades ago and published it in his first book, In Patagonia. A few times in his life and in my life, our paths had intersected. This ship that never reached its destination was one of these points. Bruce Chetwin was a writer like no other. He would craft mythical tales into voyages of the mind. We were kindred spirits, he as a writer, I as a filmmaker. Australia was where our paths crossed for the first time in 1983. Bruce was searching here for something profound, a whole world embedded in ancient Aboriginal songs. The Australian Aboriginals have this idea that the whole of the land is covered with song. I think it gives one insights as to how language, song, thought, poetry came into being originally. When the last song man or song woman passes, something profound is going to happen. <laughs> Our song lines hold, hold the earth together in a, in a mysterious way. These here are the last nomadic people of Tierra del Fuego, photographed a mere hundred years ago. Bruce Chetwin had seen these photos while he was in Patagonia. 10,000 years ago, they left their imprint in a cave under an overhang. The hands of these long gone people are the direct imprint of their presence. But the longer you look, the more unreal, the more mysterious they become. Nomads, their bodies and faces painted, always fascinated Chetwin. Even when he was only days away from death, he wanted to see my just finished film on Wadabe tribesmen in the Southern Sahara. These images were the last Bruce ever saw before he lapsed into his final coma. <laughs> <laughs> 